is Martha Otavia. But we have to here the evaluate, uh, do, uh, give us the objective, the the purpose, the purpose, not the prepared speech of a Martha. Is it? It is. Uh, is is it? Uh, it is. <laughs> she is Gabriela Paz. <laughs> English is easy. <laughs> uh, Martha is giving a speech tonight based on a fact finding report. So she needs to report on an event or an occasion or an incident. Yeah? And the idea behind it is for her to be able to tell it eloquently comprehensively, with good structure and organization, and that you feel as if, the, when she gives the report, that you understand it comprehensively, so you can make a decision based on the information and what you want to do with it. So whether that's a decision you need to make, a behavior you need to make, um, or an engagement. So I, I'm looking forward to hearing it. Yeah? We are. Thank you. We are. Martha? Uh, very good point. Sorry. Two, two minutes. Good evening. The selfie phenomenon facts. I found that the topic about selfie is interesting. Let me ask you a question. Who in this room have never taken a selfie? I've never taken one. I've been in a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of it. No one, isn't it? So everyone already taken a selfie. So this Thank is very interesting because selfie is in everyday life and why not to know more about it? So I dig more information and I come across so many reports and facts and tonight I will present to you the phenomenon of self. So, every year, <laughs> Oxford Dictionary will choose a word to be given inside the dictionary, and it is very selective. And in 2013, they choose the word selfie, which means taking one self picture using a camera from the phone or the computer and upload it to the social network. So from here we can see that selfie is very powerful because even Oxford choose the word to be included in the dictionary. We can see that the phenomenon of selfie is always increasing from year to year. We can remember last few years when the selfie goes from the Oscars and also President Obama really likes to take selfie and also even Pope take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> so let's continue. This fact of the self phenomenon, I will divide it into several chapters which is First, we should know about the history of selfie. Would you want to know? Yes. 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 And then how the popular popularity goes on. And then the facts and the figures that will shock us. And then the good and the bad of selfie. Last but not least, conclusions and recommendations from myself. You can see here even Queen Elizabeth really likes to photobomb herself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell Toastmaster, the history of selfie, how, <laughs> how does it come from? This picture is the first selfie picture ever taken in the entire world. It was in 1839 by an amateur and photography enthusiast named Robert Cornelius. He really likes into photography, so one day he wants to take a photograph of himself, but at the time there, there was no in-front camera, so he took the, 
himself with a um, traditional camera and then people say that he put the camera and then press it and he will run and take the picture. <laughs> That's very, very difficult compared to now, isn't it? And then the next first mirror selfie is from this Russian Grand Duchess Anastasia Nikolaevna at the age of 13 was one of the first teenagers to take a mirror selfie to send a friend in the year 1914. Nowadays, you know that mirror selfie is very popular. Well, sometimes I like to do that as well. And then this selfie phenomenon began, re, began to grow and the popularity start being heard on the year of 2003, which the first social network, which is MySpace, if you still remember. I have it. You have? Yes. Great. I never had MySpace. <laughs> and after that, it was um, continuously to another social network, for example, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Flickr, and the last most updated one, which is why it's a video blog website where you can upload up to six second video, which is very popular nowadays. Okay, come to the facts and figures. It from techinfographics.com. It says that every day more than one million pictures of selfie <coughs> taken. Anyone of you have taken selfie today? So you're not counting into this one year. And then you can see here, overall, 50% of men and 52% of women have taken a selfie. So we can see that more women in the selfie than men. I don't know if it's true in this room. And then the other figures is about 14% are digitally enhanced. 36% of people have admitted to altering their selfies, which is using, you know, applications to make yourself prettier. 34% of males state they retouch every selfie. So this man is very um, precautious about his appearance. The other facts and figures where the selfies are being shared. We can see Facebook at the top, WhatsApp and Tags, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. And according to Samsung, selfies make up of the photos taken by people between the age of 18 to 24. So in this age, they really like to make us make up selfies. <coughs> okay, the next interesting facts is about the top cities in the world that the people really like to take selfie. And the number one is Makati City and Pasig in Philippines. And you can see the rest. The good and the bad. For the sheep selfie, we are self-aware. And we are also social. We are mobile, we are brave, we are selective, and we are smart. For the bad team, it caused extreme because there's one guy that has addiction to selfie. Conclusion and recommendation, selfie is a global phenomenon and selfie is about self-exposure and control. So we should embrace selfie in a good and positive way. Thank you very much.
saying about selfies, the a lot of people debate about it, which is all the for, against and for. So people will say that selfies is a very good way to express yourself, mm -hmm. to be able to show what you've got and to to feel uh, proud of yourself. But a lot of people also say that this is very bad things because it's like making others jealous with your life and all those things. So I think that this is very interesting to be brought and to be shared with audience. Yes? Martha, I have a question for you. Yes. What do you think of someone who's never taken a selfie of themselves? <laughs> okay, interesting questions. Because I also experienced myself that my little sister, <clears throat> she really had, really hate self. She never took any and she said, it's no use. So I think it depends on the person, back to the person uh, attitude or behavior or how they want to describe themselves. They, they think, some people will think that I don't need to, to show myself, just enjoy the life. So. Isn't the idea of the selfie really self-promotion on the social media to brag to your colleague, to your friends or something? Yes. Because if there was no social media, would people be taking selfies? They probably wouldn't have a place to publish, you know, keep it on your computer, but it's a way of showing. Yes, that's a very good point that you find out, because like I say in the history that selfie become phenomenon because the rise of social media as well. So the social media become the platform <coughs> for selfie to be very, very booming and everyone want to be part of it. So if there's no social media, people will just have selfie and put it on your home, like print it and then stick in your house. But because of social media is very booming, so it become a good way to promote yourself. People? Marta, what do you think, what advice would you give to teenagers who take their selfies and put on the social media? And then they are waiting how many likes I will have. And maybe they are happy and unhappy if the number of it is bigger or lower than their friends. friends. Yes, uh, very good questions because I haven't finished actually the whole explanation about the bad thing about selfie, which is one guy from uh, UK has extreme addiction to selfie. He took 200 pictures every day and still feel that there's no good picture of himself. So this is very bad and we have to teach and also advise to teenagers to be um, more aware of this, that you can take a selfie, you can share, but don't take it to the extreme. Lovely. Selfie today, don't forget a positive one. Okay, we have.